Court Christians in Malaysia have lost their appeal to have their conversion out of Islam officially recognized by the government. The Malaysia Supreme Court ruled that the four Christians should go to the Sharia courts if they want to legally leave Islam. In the past, Sharia courts have not allowed conversion from the Islamic faith. So what now for these Malaysian Christians? Well, joining us from Kuala Lumpur is Eugene Yap. He's director of RFL Partnership. That's a group that promotes religious freedom. Eugene, please explain the particulars of, of this case and uh, what your client said in court. Uh, there are four individuals, three of which uh, were Christians before. They converted to Islam because of marriage. And uh, through the years, uh, their marriage broke down. And as a result of the marriage breaking down, uh, these three uh, persons now want to renounce Islam and to revert back to their orig original re uh, religion. The fourth person is actually a Malay uh, Muslim from Sarawak, from the state of Sarawak. Uh, she, for her own personal reasons, wants to convert to Christianity and uh, wants to come out of Islam and uh, be a Christian. That's the uh, facts of the four persons that we are talking about. Well, why, why did they feel it was necessary then to file a lawsuit or to petition the court? Over the years, they have made several attempts to uh, have their conversion out of Islam legally recognized. Uh, they first went to the uh, religious, the Islamic religious uh, department to have their conversion recognized and uh, they were not given any answers. Can we expect political efforts then to allow conversion by law? The lawyers for that case, who is handling the case, uh, is now in consultation with the, the political leaders to explain or at least to uh, get the political leaders of that state of Sarawak to consider amending the Sharia legislation. Now, why this is so is because in Malaysia, uh, the religion of Islam is a state matter. It is not a federal matter. So the Sarawak state government does have the authority to amend the Sharia legislation to make it more favorable for in situations such as these four persons. Uh, that is the, the political solution that uh, we can hope for. Uh, but whether it will work, whether the political leaders will eventually move themselves at the uh, state legislative assemblies to amend the law. It's something that uh, has not been really attempted, uh, but we are still at the negotiation stage. So things are pretty fluid at the moment. Well, a lot to pray for, for Christians around the world when they want to pray for Malaysia. I think that's a particular point to pray for. And you have an uphill battle there, so we need a lot of prayer, don't we? Yes, please. Please remember Malaysia. Uh, at the at the surface and at the front of it, uh, it would appears that Malaysia is a moderate Muslim country. But behind that moderation, behind that modernity that you see in Malaysia, you see the infrastructures in Malaysia is very modern. Uh, we are having challenges, particularly in relation to the, the situation such as, such as these four persons. And uh, the constant battle between the jurisdiction of the civil courts, the Sharia courts, uh, the question of uh, freedom of religion and its freedom of religion subject to the dictates of Islam and the will of Islam. These are issues that we are constantly uh, uh, facing. And right now, these are the discourse that's happening in Malaysia. So we would appreciate much prayer from the uh, global Christian community. Uh, certainly in the days to come, uh, the question of freedom of religion will become a very important issue and uh, something that will eventually uh, impinge on how moderate and how democratic Malaysia would be. And I would like Christians to realize that for Malays, not just Malaysian nationals, but for Malay ethnics, it's very dangerous for them to leave Islam. They're still not accepted in that country. And I appreciate the work you're doing, Eugene Yap in Malaysia. Thank you for staying up late and providing us with your insights today. Thank you.